Some are calling it an invasion of privacy. The Florida High School Athletic Association is now debating whether to require all high school athletes disclose their menstrual history. That's raising concerns about privacy as well as whether this could be aimed at transgender students. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn gives us a look at the questions and how one mom whose kids played sports in school is reacting. Take a look at this form. It's asking female high school athletes some pretty personal questions about their menstrual cycles. It is currently in use, but answering the form about your first menstrual period, your most recent one, and how long between each one is optional. With this new draft at the top, it asks a student their sex assigned at birth. Then the menstrual questions are just part of the medical section and do not indicate they're optional. The form that asks when girls start their period and how often they have it, to me, seems like a continuation of this effort by Florida to regulate children's bodies. And the fact that they've already banned gender affirming care for children, who knows what this administration is going to do with this information about menstrual cycles because they've shown willingness to regulate the bodies of women and trans kids. Michelle Drucker, a mom of three, one of whom is now a transgender woman, says this is an intrusion of privacy. She thinks everyone should be concerned. What is the business of the government to ask about your menstrual cycle? Because the harm clearly outweighs any benefit, which they haven't explained what is the possible need to know this information, especially because it's going to be uploaded and could easily be data mined or could be part of a data breach. So she feels the best option, and that's not on the draft form right now is parents should be able to opt out. You shouldn't preclude participation in a sport because a child has not provided information about their menstrual cycle. In Coral Gables, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News. We reached out to the Florida High School Athletic Association. We have yet to hear back. We also reached out to Broward and Miami-Dade County Public Schools. Miami-Dade told us they want to wait until the draft is finalized before they can even review it. We also reached out to the Department of Health and Human Services to ask if mandated questions would be a possible privacy violation. We're waiting to hear back.